Watch the full video to solve this Amazon question. Being the number we're iterating over, as I mentioned, okay? So if X could be the start of a new sequence, okay? So we have four, X equals to four in this case. If X minus one, which is equal to three, it's in the set, then that means that X is not the starting of a sequence, okay? And particularly here, we want to look for the sequence starter. The reason we're checking for these conditions is because we need X to be a sequence starter because we need to count how long the sequence is. And once we find the starting point of that sequence, we can count upwards or in ascending order. So X minus one at this point, it's it's in the set, meaning four did not start any sequence. Four could be part of a sequence. So we move into the next one, which is one. X equals one minus one equals zero. If zero is in the set, which is not, meaning one could be a sequence starter. And that's what we want here. Now we know that one could be our sequence starter and we can start counting how many numbers after one are present in our set. Like and subscribe to support the journey.